Hi, I'm Harry, and today we're going to be talking about the three pairs of shoes, the only three pairs of shoes that you need in your wardrobe. So let's get right into the video. Now, the shoes mentioned in this video are not necessarily my favorite pairs of shoes that I own, but if I could only have three pairs of shoes, then these would be the pairs that I would choose. So to kickstart the list off, the first pair that I would choose is a pair of low profile, simple white sneakers. Now, the reason I've chosen a pair of white sneakers first is because white goes with absolutely anything. And by keeping the sneakers really clean and simple in their design, they're not gonna clash with anything, meaning they're as versatile as it gets. Well, almost. We've got a more versatile shoe coming up later on the list, but we'll get into that later on. Now, the Common Projects Achilles Low tick all these boxes. They might not be the most exciting shoe, but they're so easy to dress both up and down. Now, white sneakers are known for being a casual footwear choice, but because the Common Projects Achilles Low are so sleek, people even opt to wear them with a suit. Now, every time you talk about a pair of Common Projects Achilles Low, people love to talk about the alternatives in the comments. There's plenty of alternatives out there, some more affordable, some better quality, but it all comes down to which pair you prefer and which ones you can afford. I personally don't like the silhouettes of the alternative options as much as the Common Projects Achilles Low, but if you do, then go for it. But the pair that I think are the best and the closest to the Common Projects Achilles Low are from Artisan Lab. But if it was down to me and I had to choose an alternative to the Common Projects Achilles Low, then I'd go for something completely different, like a Converse Chuck Taylor 70. Now, I've actually been wearing the Chuck Taylor 70s in the parchment colorway a lot more than Common Projects these days. The Chuck 70s are definitely just as versatile as the Common Projects Achilles Low, and they're a lot more affordable. But the only reason I didn't have them in the place of the Common Projects Achilles Low is because they're definitely harder to keep clean. But the point of all this is it doesn't matter necessarily what the brand is, you don't have to buy the exact same shoes as me, but you want to choose a pair of white sneakers with a clean and simple design. So it's up to you which ones you choose at the end of the day. For the Comma Projects, I sized down one full size, and for the Converse, I went true to size, but I've heard a lot of people say that they run a bit big for them, so it's definitely worth trying them on before you buy. Now my next choice is something a lot more comfortable whilst looking stylish at the same time and I've opted for a pair of Nike Air Max 90s. Now, if I wear a pair of Common Projects or Converse throughout the day and I'm doing a lot of walking, or if I'm on my feet a lot of the day, then by the end of the day, my feet are normally quite sore. So I wanted a pair of shoes that would keep my feet comfortable if I was gonna be on them all day. Now, as the Air Max 90 was originally made as a running shoe, you can count on it to be a comfortable shoe and something that's gonna be kind to your feet. You don't have to opt for the Air Max 90 here, but you want something comfy because this shoe is going to be used as your daily runaround shoe. I'd recommend looking at sports brands as they usually make the most comfortable shoes. When choosing a pair for this category, I head to the lifestyle section as you can find the more stylish options here. Then I look for something that looks like it could double up as a running shoe as these are usually your best bet at getting something that feels like you're walking on air or just get the Air Max and then you are walking on air. So if these are white, have a simple design and go with anything in my wardrobe, then why would I choose to have a pair of Common Projects on the list? Well, the reason is, is because these are more like a trainer and they look a bit more like a running shoe, I just don't think that you can pull off smarter looks with these as well as you can with the Common Projects Achilles Low. So the reason I choose the Common Projects Achilles Low is if I was unsure of a dress code and going to a formal event, then I'd probably put a pair of the Common Projects on. But for anything else, I'd probably opt for the Nike Air Max 90. For those dressier events where you can't wear a pair of sneakers, this is where my third and final shoe comes in, the Penny Loafer. The Penny Loafer has a sleek and timeless design, which look amazing in my opinion. Michael Jackson also wore a pair of these, so I like to crack out a moonwalk or two when I'm in them. <laughs> the best thing about these shoes is yes, they're a smart pair of shoes, but you can get away with wearing them casually as well. A lot of people like to wear them with a pair of chinos, even with jeans, and you could even get away with wearing them with a pair of shorts. So there's not much that these don't go with. And to be honest with you, they're probably the most versatile pair on the list. The reason I don't wear these every day is because I definitely prefer to wear a pair of trainers when I can. The pair that I've got here are the Larson Loafer from GH Bass, and I absolutely love these shoes. They're a really comfortable shoe, but they do need a bit of breaking in, and I did size down a full size with these. The leather stretches, and because they haven't got any laces, I wanted a bit of a snugger fit so my foot didn't slip out. So there you have it. You've got a white sneaker, you've got a daily runabout shoe, and you've got a smarter shoe for smarter events. More? That's the end of the video, I'm afraid. Come back next week for another one. See ya!